Hello, this is Eric Bobro with another Archicad video tip. There are times during the course of a project when you need to rework the ID numbers for windows, doors, or other elements so that they work in the schedule properly. You'll see, for example, in this project that these all, windows all have number four and they actually should be put in some sort of a sequence. To change them, I'm going to select, first of all, this one and here I'll open up the window dialog box. In the window dialog box I will need to um, go down lower in the dialog box to the ID under listing and labeling and here is where I can change it to let's say window 7. And you'll see it update on the plan. Now to do it a little bit quicker I can use the info box. Now the problem is that the info box doesn't show the ID until you scroll all the way over to the right at least in the standard settings for Archicad's default setup. Now I'll change this to number six. Done. A little bit quicker. But let's see if we can make this even more convenient. Go to the Options menu, Work Environment, Info Box. Now the Info Box can be customized so that, for example, for the Window tool, you'll see here are the list of parameters that are shown at the beginning of the Info Box and then way at the end the ID and label elements which is what we want to spend some time on. I'm just going to grab them by the upper by the up and down arrows on the left side and move them to the top. This will put them on the far left so that when I activate the window tool or select a window the ID is immediately visible. So I select the window and I can very quickly go here and change the, the number. Now there is an even faster way to do this particularly if you're going to be renumbering a whole lot of them. You need to select them in the order you'd like to number them. So I'm going to select first this one, then that one, this third one, this fourth one, and you can do as many as you wish. Then go to the Document menu, Schedules and Lists, Element ID Manager. In the Element ID Manager, you need to make sure that your element type matches the type of elements that you've got because it may be set to something different. You'll see that there are four windows selected and they can be configured. We've made sure that it says unique ID for each element so that it can renumber all of them. And I go into the ID format. The ID format has up to four different um, groups of numbering or lettering. In this simple case we're not going to use the first two. We're going to use just the W for the text and have a counter here. Let's say that I wanted to start this at um, number four. Now I'm noticing that this is not working right now so I'm going to have to save settings and close and then go back in. This seems to be a little bit finicky so I'll go back in schedules and lists element ID manager and go to the ID format again and you can see that it actually recorded the number four here. Let's say that we wanted to start it at 12 just to be arbitrary. I'll go click on Change IDs. You can see it gives me a list of the windows and how many were renamed or renumbered. And I'll say OK. You see immediately on the plan 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's say I wanted to do them in the reverse order. I can just go here. It depends upon which one I select first. I'll go to the Document menu, Schedules and Lists, Element ID Manager. Again, make sure that it's set for Windows. If it says unique ID, go to the ID format. And if it's already remembered what I had, maybe I'll just say that it starts at 19 and change IDs. And you'll see 1920 through 22. OK. And you can see the numbers have now gone the other direction. So this way you can group elements on the first floor, the second floor, any story that you wish, and start them at any number and do 3, 4, 10 as many as you wish simply by selecting them. So this is a very speedy way to renumber windows, doors, or other elements. This is Eric Bobro with another Archicad video tip. Thanks for tuning in.